Hi everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're not new. I'm gonna go ahead and do my skincare routine because my skin looks so much better after doing this for like two weeks. And um, yeah, let's just get right into it because I just got out of the shower and my son needs me. So my grandmother's watching him, but while she's watching him, I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. Okay, so shower's already out of the way, teeth is brushed, hair's brushed, it's just wet, so. Looks kinda tragic, but that's, it's fine. So, <laughs> these are the products that we're going to be using today. Okay, hold on, I need to spill me something out of here. Okay. Where's the cap to the toothpaste? Okay, so for my toothpaste, I use um, Pronamel Sensodyne because I have very sensitive teeth and it does whiten my teeth a little bit. I'm just not gonna show the result right now because um, <laughs> they're still not as white as I would like them to be and I'm still embarrassed about them, so. Um, this is my stretch marks, by the way. I love my body now, but for the most part, I don't like this, but other than that, anyways, so for our cleanser, we're going to go ahead and use African Black Silk Clarifying Facial Wipes. Cleanser doesn't always have to be a cream. It can be a wipe, it can be a lotion, it can be anything, but this is my cleanser. You don't have to have a wet face. It's actually recommended that you don't. <laughs> but this is for all skin types. So you're just gonna wipe your entire face with this. Like you can remove dirt, you can remove makeup, it unclogs your pores. And you can just tell that your skin is like so much better after just wiping one area of your face. Yes, I still have a couple spots here and there, but I do have acne, but it helps a lot. It is not as bad as it used to be, that's for damn sure. But, this is my skincare routine. Okay. I found that just trying out this routine worked after like a day or so. Anyways. Yeah. And then face cream. This is hydrating. I have combination skin, so the um this wipes all the oils from my face and then this hydrates it with some healthy hydration. My lotion has some water in it, so I'm always trying to get the water out before I get the lotion. Okay. You don't even need that much. You just need a little bit. But you're going to want to put it on your neck. And then you're going to put it on your face. Now I know why Riley likes his lotion after his bath because this feels so good. But yeah. Now I do have one like scab that's opened because my son is at that grabby stage. I'm gonna scratch the hell out of your face stage. And I went to pick him up and I had a pimple on my face that I was trying to pop and I didn't know that it had scabbed over and my son just grabbed the hell out of my cheek and just went and ripped the damn thing off. <laughs> so it was painful, but he helped me. He was like, here, I got it. I got you, I got you, I'll get it off for you. <laughs> and he got it off, but yeah. Okay, so now, 
It looks oily and greasy, but I promise it's not. Okay. <laughs> and then, because I still have dry skin on my shoulders and on my back, and especially right here, I use Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream. Why did I say body gel like that? Body gel? Body gel? 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 <laughs> I suddenly forgot where I'm from again. <laughs> Is my brain still at te still in Texas? I don't know. <laughs> jail. <laughs> okay. Now, the only reason why I put them on my stretch marks is not to get rid of them because I love my stretch marks. It's just because when these, when it, when they get dry, it's itchy and it's painful and it's uncomfortable as fuck. So I'm going to put a little dollop on my fingertips and just... Yeah! Yes? What? Well, I know, but I mean, like, does he need a diaper? Oh, okay. Ow. Hold on. So now I'm pretty much almost done for the day. Now I just have to brush my hair again. <sighs> On Monday, I will be doing another get ready with me because of the fact that I have orientation early in the morning. So I will most likely be awake like since orientation starts at nine and it's about maybe a 30 minute drive. No, I don't think it's that long. It's a drive. Um, probably should leave at around 8.30, 8.20. And I want to take a shower, do my makeup. And then I also have to go, you know what? I'm just going to get up at like 7, 7.30, okay? So... I will be going all out to get ready. I won't be doing a shit ton of makeup because it is orientation for work. So I'll just be doing like a natural light touch. But anyway, yeah, I will be doing my makeup and my skincare routine, so. Anyways. Now I'm just going to use my Champagne Toast from Bath & Body Works Scented Lotion on my hands and a little bit by my wrists. and stuff are getting itchy and then deodorant I use secret powder fresh it smells really good of course I drop it with no lid on Now, my 
Champagne Toast Perfume. I like to go with seasonal scents and Champagne Toast is for every season and I don't really have a fall scent and we're still in autumn so most I can the best I can do right now is do year-round perfume and light my autumn scented candles <laughs> that's the best I can do at this moment in time until I can go to Bath and Body Works for my birthday and get autumn stuff Anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, um, except for right now my lips are kind of chapped, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some lip balm. Oh, great, we're out of lip balm. Wait, I have some in my makeup drawer. And then, yes, I'll clean up the bathroom in a second. Are you talking? Talking? You talking? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I know. I didn't just leave you here, baby. Oh my god, yes. Hold on, guys. This is what you wanted. Is this what you wanted? this for professional level whitening oh. All right, I'll do that later probably like at a later date or something where the hell is my lip balm right here okay so this is um what I got last year Rose Balm. It looks kind of like a lip gloss, but it's very hydrating and it still uses as, and it still works as a lip balm, like chapstick. I would say it's a bomb gloss. But yeah, that's basically my skincare routine. Ignore this. This was from him ripping off a scab, which I already said. <laughs> um, and then this is just routine pimples that pop up now and then because I'm a smoker, but yeah. Anyways. So I know that I said something about a daily routine vlog. That ended up not happening because... My phone died in the middle of the night, and then by the time I finally got it charged to 100%, it was already, like, midday. So, I will wait until, um, I'll try 
and do it tomorrow because he has a doctor's appointment at like 1.20 in the afternoon. So we will most likely leave at around noon to 1 o'clock. Most likely around noon, 12.30. And then because it's all the way in Coolidge, it's over, it's like two cities over. So yeah, it would probably be best to leave it around 12.30. And then, um, get up and shit at around normal time, like 8 or 9. Get him ready, get myself ready, do some makeup, you know, whatever. Put some earrings in, because my hole's about to close. And then, pack his diaper bag. Just so you know, he's normally ready before I am. I always put him first. He always gets dressed before I'm dressed. His diaper bag is packed before I jump in the shower. So we always usually wake up at around two to three hours before we leave. So it would probably be best to wake up at around maybe nine, something like that. Yeah, we'll be awake at around nine. And then I'll show you how we get ready to go to the doctor. So, yeah. Also, tomorrow might be a very sad, teary vlog. Definitely not as bubbly because a year ago, I was supposed to have a baby before him. But uh, I had a miscarriage in March of 2020. So, for those of you that don't know, November 17th was the due date that was estimated. So, yeah, tomorrow is supposed to be Angel's birthday, and we named the baby Angel after we lost the baby, because it's a gender neutral name, and it's our angel, you know? So, anyway, yeah. I'm not gonna cry about it right now, but, uh, yeah, so if I'm crying tomorrow, that's why, um, and I hate it when people see me cry about Angel and they're like, do you not care about Riley? Excuse me? And just stop with that, but anyways, I love you guys, I'll see you all in the next video, stay body positive. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.